Now that you've filled in a value scale, let's look at your skills. In this video, you'll learn how to fill in the skills sheet with the skills you want to use in your career. For this checklist, a skill means your ability to do the task. Skills can be learned or developed. When identifying skills you have, it is important to think about how you know that you have that skill. For example, this might be a skill I want to use, but if I've never been exposed to computer programming, then I would not have this skill. An aptitude is a more specific ability, but can help us in determining if we have an aptitude to develop a skill. An aptitude tends to be more stable over long-term periods. For example, I've always struggled with math, therefore, after 15 years of struggling with math, even with extra help and tutoring, I can say I do not have an aptitude for math. Open the skills sheet found in this module. To fill in this checklist, review the skills listed. For skills that you would like to use, check the box beside each one. Then go through the list again, and if you believe you have the skill, check the Have This Skill box. You can have a check in both boxes if you both have the skill and would like to use the skill in future work. When you're done, it's time to fill out the skills you most want to use day to day in your career. Just like we saw in the values sheet, this is totally up to you. You know which skills are most important to you. We've left seven spaces here, but that's not a hard number. You might only have three top skills, or you might have seven. Put as many as you need. The point isn't to hit a certain number. It's to be critical and pare down the information you're gathering on yourself. Do not worry if you would like to use a skill, but don't have it yet. Skills can be learned through education, paid work, volunteer work, or other life experiences. In identifying your skills, it might also help to take a look at your totals under each occupational interest. Make sure you keep this worksheet because you'll need it for a later activity. For the next self-assessment step, check out the video on non-negotiables.